Now in this part of the question then we're given that the sum of the first n terms which I've written as s with a little subscript n sn is equal to 2750 and we've got to show this result n squared minus 15n equals 55 times 40. Now to do this what you've got to remember is that the sum of the first n terms in an arithmetic series is given by sn equals n over 2 all multiplied by twice the first term 2a plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So do make sure that you learn this. Okay? So in place of the sum of the first n terms I can write 2750. So we'll put therefore 2750 is equal to n over 2 and then we've got twice the first term. Well we knew the first term was minus 17.5 so we'll put 2 times minus 17.5 there and then we've got plus n minus 1 times d so n minus 1. Now what was the common difference? Well that was 2.5. Okay so I'm going to write that 2.5 as 5 over 2. Right so we've got that. There's many things we could do to simplify this. Let's just work on the inside of the bracket. okay? And also at the same time I'm going to times both sides by 2. So if I times both sides by 2 I'm going to double this value 2750. So doing that doubling 2750 gives me 5500. And that means if I times this side by 2, that's just going to be n there. Let's clean up what we've got in the bracket here. So we're going to have two lots of minus 17.5, so that's minus 35. Let's expand this bracket at the same time. So we're going to have plus 5n over 2, and then minus 5 over 2. What could we do next? Um, what we could do is just group together these two terms here, minus 35 and minus 5 over 2. So if we do that, let's put the 5, 5, naught, naught down, equals n. Minus 35, we can think of that as minus 70 over 2. If we double it, top and bottom, that's minus 70 over 2. Minus another 5 over 2, that's minus 75 over 2. Let's put this term first as well. 5n over 2, then minus 70 over, sorry, 75, I should say, over 2. Now, let's multiply both sides by 2 again and expand out the bracket. So if I multiply both sides by 2, then this becomes. 1, 1, naught, 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 okay, 11,000. And what do we got here? Well, we're going to have n times 5n, so that's 5n squared, and then n times minus 75, so that's minus 75n. Looking at what we've got to prove up here, looks as if we haven't got uh, a 5 stuck at the front of this n squared so that makes me think that maybe this is divisible by 5 and indeed it is so I'm going to divide through by 5 so if I do 5's into 11,000 I get 2,200 so that's 2,200 and that will equal n squared minus and 5's into 75 is 15 so we got 15n so this is looking very similar now to what we've got up here. So if I just rearrange this, we've got n squared minus 15n equals the 2200. And 2200 is in fact 55 times 40. So we might as well just write 55 times 40. So there we are. We've proved it. OK, so that brings us now to the end of that part of the question.